Good evening. I'm Kevin Kelly. I'm Donna Terrell. A follow-up to a story you'll see only on Fox 16. A popular Jacksonville pastor is found guilty of battery on his ex-wife. Fox 16's Brent Solomon joins us live outside the courtroom. In fact, he was inside when the judge made the verdict. Brent. Kevin, it was an emotional couple of hours as Eric Alexander, pastor of St. Luke Baptist Church, heard his 10-year-old daughter testify she saw him beat her mother. Ms. Alexander, how do you feel as you head into court? A quiet Eric Alexander entered the courtroom this afternoon, avoiding any questions about his trial. Today, half a dozen people took the witness stand to tell what they saw the evening of December 15th. After hearing all of the evidence, a judge found the pastor guilty of battery against his ex-wife. The sentence, 30 days in jail. He should got more than 30 days. Mm. You know, he should got more than 30 days for a man to put his hand. If I had been there, been some, a mess that night. The evidence shows it. Y'all don't have no pictures of it. She didn't take pictures on the scene. She took pictures after the fact. What do you have to show? So you support him? I do support him. And I will to this day forth. I will support him to the end. Now, the incident happened on church grounds when Alexander's ex-wife came to the church to pick up their daughter during a custody exchange. The victim claims she suffered a black eye and had to go to the emergency room. We'll have much more details on this story coming up tonight at 9 and 10. For now, we're live in Jacksonville. Brent Solomon, Fox 16 News. Guilty of battery, Brent. So when does the pastor begin this 30-day sentence and, and can he get out of it? Well, he actually can because the judge ordered that he take a 12-week anger management course. And if he completes that course successfully, then the jail time could be waived. Brent Solomon live tonight. Here is the Fox 16 bottom line. Alexander was arrested in December on a third-degree battery charge. Alexander claimed it was his wife that hit him in the face. He must appear in court again on May 26th.